Today we're going to take a look at how to optimize this rather mediocre PC to run HitFilm Express for a rather complicated project. And uh, now this little PC, it's uh, running a uh, AMD Ryzen 5 2400G. And if you're not familiar with that, it is a very mediocre PC, kind of like a newer i5. It does have some integrated graphics, but very, very low quality ones. Uh, and it only has 8 gigs of RAM. And uh, it only has one uh, RAM chip in it, which really kind of hurts uh, performance on Ryzen anyway. So this is very much a just okay PC. It does meet the specs of uh, running uh, HitFilm Express, obviously, uh, but just barely. However, we have uh, 10 tips here that are going to help really improve the performance of this little guy. Uh, and so we're going to start uh, with number one. And the first tip is to optimize your PC. And one of the things you can do is update your graphic drivers to the latest versions. HitFilm is always built against the latest versions of the graphic drivers, and so that always helps. Plus, there's always bug fixes and improvements. The next item is to shut down any extra programs that you have running. Things like web browsers are real pigs and use up a lot of RAM and CPU. Also, too, don't forget the, all those little apps hiding down in the lower right-hand corner of Windows. Shut down anything that's not absolutely necessary in order to free up resources on your PC. Finally, if you do have some money and you're looking to upgrade, here's kind of my top list of things to go for. First of all, get to 8 gigs of RAM. Now, you can run HitFilm with 4, but 8 is much better. Uh, so that's my number one. Uh, number two is add an SSD or even better, an uh, MVME storage, which are even faster. Uh, and then finally, if you can, upgrade to an external graphics card because uh, they're just much better and faster. So those are the list if you can do upgrades. But again, they are not necessary as long as you're meeting the minimum requirements. The next tip is, is when you create a new project in HitFilm, it's going to prompt you to create a proxy. And if you're on a slower machine, you'll want to set your proxies to performance. So just go ahead and do that for any new project. The next tip is to save all projects and proxies and caches to your fastest hard drive. If you've got a couple of hard drives in your system and one is, let's say, an SSD and the other one's an old conventional spinning hard drive, then you definitely want to save anything video related to the newer, faster drive. And you can see here under the options on how to change that to point to the different, uh, uh, you know, a different path or so you can store your caches and proxies over there too. So always use your fastest drive. The next tip is to trim large videos. This video here is almost like three or four hours long. I just need like 30 seconds out of it. You know, you use your trimmer in uh, HitFilm and to mark your endpoints and your out points and then just export that little part of the video you want and then just use that exported video in your actual project. So again, trim large video files, export them, and just use the trimmed version. And just to give you some idea how slow this PC is, when I open up this project and press play, it's pretty much a slideshow. However, when HitFilm starts building its proxies, and you notice that little orange line it is creating over there, notice how the playback becomes smooth. So proxies are huge. Now we're on to our next two tips, which is change the viewer resolution and the playback quality settings. Now these don't change the way that your film exports, they only change the way the viewer works and it basically is half resolution and quarter resolution on the viewer and on the playback quality as you select the different options they basically turn off the special effects that you may apply to the video and so that makes of course run faster uh, and you know here's a list of the different effects that it turns on and off at each of these different levels.
Next, you can manually turn off effects that you don't need right now, and especially the eye candy effects, things like brightness and contrast and curves and luminosity and all these sort of things and certain lighting effects you just may not need right now. You can actually search for that effect, select the very first one, scroll down the list, hold down your shift key, select the very last one, and then toggle them on or off very easily. So this is a great way to turn off temporarily unneeded effects. Just make sure you turn them back on when you're done. For any part of your project that's basically done, you can make pre-renders in both the editor and in composite shots. And this really speeds things up once they are done. Basically, HitFilm calculates what your video is going to look like on export. It goes ahead and creates that little section of the video. And that way, anytime you're referencing it in the future, you already have it basically pre-exported. It's just built into the project itself. You'll notice too that pre-rendering can cut export times. Even though I just pre-rendered a few fairly minor sections of this video, we actually cut our export times by about five minutes. Our next tip doesn't make HitFilm run any faster, but it makes your workflow faster. And that is to just export in and out points to test little parts of your video. And you can do that right into viewer. You just collect the uh, end point, which is starting point. And then you scroll down a little bit farther in the video and then you select an out point and you can export just that in and out point section. So if you're working on something really tricky and you don't have enough horsepower to actually view it in real time and you need to export it, you don't have to export out the entire video in order to just see one little part of it that you're working on. And the final tip is have lots of little individual projects and export them out and then just combine them together at the end. This keeps each project smaller and makes it a lot more easy for HitFilm to manage on your low-end PC. And that's it. I certainly hope you enjoyed this video about how to make HitFilm run faster on your low-end PC. If you did, please like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.